Black unity is very necessary, but we can't say black people must be united under the old man. What does the old man have to do with the future? The black unity must be led by the youth, such as Mongis, who are part of the solid organization with solid policies. Black unity cannot be led by people who wake up every day and fundraise a new policy, trying to understand what they stand for. Every day they wake up with a new policy because they were not prepared to build a vehicle for black unity. We have a vehicle for black unity, and that vehicle is the EFF. Commissar Mongezi is trying very hard to survive the tsunami that hit everyone in KwaZulu Natal called Umkonto Wesizu. That tsunami was ruthless. And anyone who suggests that he failed to defend the EFF here in KZN has never experienced what we experienced. The truth of the matter is that the old man in Kandla shocked all of us. But we will never allow that shock to happen again. We will return to the battlefield with your soldier and regain our strength through hard work and determination. As the EFF, we are here in KZN all over this province on a fact-finding mission to find out to take our numbers. Because all of us are in shock. Comrades, we must not be shaken by events that have taken place in the recent past. Every organization that is going to test that is going to stand the test of time must go through the eye of the needle. That is where all of you are going to be tested if you are soldiers of economic freedom in our lifetime. These are challenging moments because this organization of ours, it's a living organization which will from time to time go through the necessary co contradictions in order to propel movement forward. You must not be shaken by that which was never resolved by you. Do not allow the doomsayers to set an agenda for you. You must set your own agenda. You must determine your own future. No one must sit somewhere and say tomorrow, this is how they need to respond to the future. Comrades, we are in trouble of a government called Government of National Unity. There is no government of national unity. It's a grand coalition between the ANC and the DA. And the ANC being very weak, anyone who goes into coalition with them can take them to any direction that person wants. Let me send my greetings to the people of Osizweni and all those who were close to Mama Twala, to the leadership of the EFF, we salute you for being next to our provincial chairperson throughout this difficult time. We are here to lend a shoulder to cry on to our brother who has lost the first love of his life, his mother who raised and loved him and made him the revolutionary he is today. To lose a parent is one of the most painful things and no matter how old you become, there is no age where you are ready or mature enough to handle the pain of losing a mother. The loss of a mother resembles the cutting of your umbilical cord for a second time because your first connection with life has once again been removed from you. Your first interaction with unconditional love has been removed from you. And this time, she is not there to comfort you from the pain that comes with the removal of her as an umbilical cord. Comrade Monges, we cannot stand here today and claim to have known your mother personally, but we can confidently say that she was a good human being because of the products of her work and the product it's you. A poisoned tree could never produce a healthy fruit 
And because we know you for being a decent and loyal individual, we know your mother was a decent and loyal mother. Comrade Mongezi, because we know you for your selflessness, for your loyalty, and for your humility, we know that your mother was loving human being who taught you these values, which makes you an asset to the EFF today. We know your mother through you because you are the product of her efforts. And as she reaches her final resting place, we want to say to Mama Twala, Lala Mama Usebenzi. Lala Mama, because through your love and care for your son and your family, you have given the world the gift of a revolutionary. Lala Mama, because through your determination never to give up, you have produced a resilient young man who does not break under difficult circumstances. Lala Mama, and the debt that we owe you as a generation can never be repaid. All we can guarantee to you is that we'll look after the humble product you have produced and left behind and use him to bring hope into the lives of others here in South Africa. The leadership of the IFP is here. The leadership of the ANC is here. The leadership of Tim Sugar is here. Leaders of society are here because your son is very kind to all irrespective of their political affiliation. Those are the values you have instilled in your son. You have borrowed as your son, people of Osizweni, and now it is our responsibility to take him into our embrace as he mourns the first love of his life. Our mother passed at a time when we were still trying to find the answers to our performance during the elections here in KwaZulu-Natal. Our mother passes on when Commissar Mongezi is trying very hard to survive the tsunami that hit everyone in KwaZulu-Natal called Umkonto Esizu. That tsunami was ruthless. As Monges is trying to analyze how this tsunami came from, his mother passes on. As we stand here today, I feel a great deal of pain because I was unable to express to Mama Twala herself how proud we are of her son, who stood bravely at the center of that tsunami and never once showed sign of Obukwala a cowardice. Your son Mongezi Twala was not a coward, Mama. And anyone who suggests that he failed to defend the EFF here in KZN has never experienced what we experienced. The truth of the matter is that the old man in Kandla shocked all of us, but we will never allow that shock to happen again. And we will rebuild the EFF of your son here in Guazul Natal, Mama with him by our side. We will return to the battlefield with your soldier and regain our strength through hard work and determination. This is why fellow comrades and members of the church, as the EFF, we are here in KZN all over this province on a fact-finding mission to find out who wins in Uzuma to take our numbers. Because all of us are in shock. So we are mourning today, but Mongezi tomorrow, we want to beg on the picket lines. A leader is allowed to mourn and cry. And then we must soldier on and carry those we love in our hearts as an inspiration to confront all the difficulties in our life. Comrades, we are in trouble of a government called Government of National Unity. There is no Government of National Unity. It's a grand coalition between the ANC and the DA. And the ANC being very weak, anyone who goes into coalition with them can take them to any direction that person wants. So today, 
the people who are governing this country is the DA under Helen Zille, and the ANC is just following. We have a responsibility as the people of Newcastle to make sure that we come together to defend this land of Mamatwala, because we cannot allow that the DA should reverse the gains of 1994. We can tell you now that this government of national unity, which you are part of, Prime Minister, one day we are going to wake up and they are going to tell us that there is no longer kingdom of KwaZulu-Natal. The Zulu king will no longer exist because the white supremacists do not recognize traditional leadership. So everything else that reflect blackness and African, they are going to destroy. Everything that promoted and put the black people in the forefront, this government of today is going to destroy. We must be aware as we mourn the death of our mother that we are in a more big trouble than we were yesterday because we have a responsibility to defend the gains of 1994. Black unity is very necessary, but we can't say black people must be united under the old man. What does the old man have to do with the future? The black unity must be led by the youth, such as Mongis, who are part of the solid organization with solid policies. Black unity cannot be led by people who wake up every day and fundraise a new policy, trying to understand what they stand for. Every day they wake up with a new policy because they were not prepared to build a vehicle for black unity. We have a vehicle for black unity, and that vehicle is the EFF. We must make sure, Commissar Mungis, that we turn our pain into purpose. We must never be in pain for a very long time. Any pain that takes longer is now self-inflicted. We must mourn our mother, but not become crybabies. We must mourn our mother, feel the pain, recover from that pain, and in her name, vow to do the good things for the community and for all our people. Comrades, we must not be shaken by events that have taken place in the recent past. Every organization that is going to test, that is going to stand the test of time, must go through the eye of the needle. That is where all of you are going to be tested if you are soldiers of economic freedom in our lifetime. These are challenging moments because this organization of ours, it's a living organization which will from time to time go through the necessary co contradictions in order to propel movement forward. You must not be shaken by that which was never resolved by you. Do not allow the doomsayers to set an agenda for you. You must set your own agenda. You must determine your own future. No one must sit somewhere and say tomorrow, this is how they need to respond to the future. The family of Twala and Mazbuku, please, the death of our mother should never be a source of divisions. We don't want to see you tomorrow fighting over her material belongings because she's no more. When someone has died and you want something from her, you can't take everything. If you take everything, Monges, that belongs to your mother, it's no longer loving your mother. That is greedy. Because your mother taught you to love each other and love means sharing. When a mother passes on, a pillar of strength, the source of unity passes on, you must know that the doomsayers are going to try and divide you. Some are even going to make non-existing telephone calls that before she passed on, she called me, and this is what she said. But 
all of you who lived with her, you know what she wanted. And it cannot be changed by a telephone call into some village, which that call never took place. When we are about to share the belongings of the deceased, each one of us must take one potion and take a back stain so that you allow others to come in and take a potion and go back. We don't take our parents' belonging when they pass on because we don't know how to work for ourselves. We take what belongs to our parents for sentimental attachment so that when we look at that which used to belong to our parents, we get inspiration and we work even much more harder. If you fight over the belongings of your parents, it is because you are lazy to work. Go and look for a job and stop fighting over the belonging of the departed. The departed would have given you these things if they wanted to give them to you. The fact that they did not give it to you, they lied. You cannot come and mislead the whole community. The Twala family must stand firm. And firmness means unity of purpose. And that purpose is to protect the legacy of our mother. And this unity can never be the legacy of our mother. The legacy of our mother is oneness. The legacy of our mother is love. So we are going to make sure that as we proceed after this funeral, we remain a united family. I was talking to Mongis that now that the mother passed on, that house needs a mother because he is not married. So we came here. We came here for a funeral. We don't want to come back for the tombstone unveiling. We want to come back for a wedding celebration because he cannot keep this family of old woman without a woman next to him. Alone, you are going to turn that house into a shebin. Alone, you are going to turn that house into a brothel. Alone, you are going to turn that house into a party house from a house of a prayer woman into a party house what a shame can we become to our own mothers so let's make sure that there is a woman in that house that protects the legacy of your mother let they be grandchildren and not less than eight in that house because we want as many children as possible so all the single ladies, I just told you a big secret, including the choir. The guy is not married. So you can decide what you want to do after the funeral with him. Pastors, please continue to pray for this family. Continue to pray for our leaders. Continue to pray for monkeys. Pray for the unity of the EFF because the unity of the EFF is the unity of black people. Thank you very much.